When was the time the that you got that six pack? Whew. Like a man, when I had like the cleanest six pack was probably like right when everything like started opening back up from COVID. Yeah. And that like what really like where I really started to notice my body change. Yeah. Like at first, just like going in was the diet. I knew like I was eating like what I thought was clean. Yeah. And I I feel like a lot of people like in their fitness journey, like they do this, but they they eat what they think is clean. And then like, they're not actually like knowing if it's like actually clean. So then. Do you, do you think it's because they're not tracking their macros or they don't know the, um, the balance of the uh, whatever, if it's protein or carbs or fats or. Yeah, it's a it's a mix of one not knowing macros, two not knowing the types of food seed and what's going to benefit the body. Right. Um. So yeah, so it's like time went on. What I, what I did was I just started like manipulating the diet. So one, I like I remember I found something like online that I would follow, mm -hmm. and I kind of got the structure of it. Right. Um. And I was cutting cutting weight really fast. Well, not weight, but fat really fast. Yeah. And I was still able to keep the the muscle that I was building. So knowing like. <laughs> Knowing, <laughs> <laughs> getting shredded, huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was at that time. I remember shit. Fuck. I had like an eight pack. I remember, a fucking eight pack. But the only thing, go oh, ahead. Yeah. Do, do you think uh, an eight pack uh, is doable for everyone, or it's just like for certain types of uh, bodies? Nah. So actually, like looking back, so that specific diet was actually like a prep diet for cutting for yeah. bodybuilders, right? Shit. So that is not sustainable for a, a long period of time. That's only sustainable for who knows how long, like as long as your body could take it. Um, so after a while, then I started just like, damn, like I got to do something different because I noticed my body was like yeah, taking on more stress, like not just the stress from the workouts, but actually like stress from like life, right? So I'm like, oh shit, like I got to change something. So then I started getting into more like balanced, balanced eating, right? Like making sure I'm eating enough carbs so my body has enough energy making sure I'm eating enough fat. So this way I have like backup storage and I have enough fat on me. Mm -hmm. So this way, like I can still have energy, even if one day I'm maybe not eating as much carbs or eating, um, making sure I'm eating enough protein because if I'm not eating enough protein, I'm not having enough like muscle and stuff like that. So, um, to knowing like the perfect balance, um, helps too. And I, I always recommend to anyone, like make sure to have a, a balanced diet. Right. What is a balance like, uh, what is a balance? diet looks like so a balanced diet looks like because um, i know it's different for everyone but like what is a balanced diet that can somebody take in general making sure you have enough carbs so there's like calculations for everything too but luckily nowadays with technology we can always like plug it into like a fitness yep. power like calorie calculator but making sure you're eating enough carbs so your body has energy like for anything so i always say like if you plug it into a fitness pal a good range to be at is like a 40 40 percent carbs um 40 protein 20 fat because mm. why the the protein's still high enough for you to build muscle the carbs are still enough for you to have energy and the fat's low enough for you to still like yeah take burn off some fat but it's still enough so you still have a little bit so you have a backup storage okay just in case when you say fat if, do you mean like like french fries because <laughs> <laughs> people are confused they're gonna think okay uh, i'm gonna go and get some fat some fat burger or something you know in and right, out right, right. Like, it's not that type of fat right not no. that type of fat so <laughs> we still want to like when you eat it when you're when we're eating fats we still want to eat like healthy fats um and those like specifically i think it's like a like if you're looking at a label you, you can classify it as like a mono unsaturated fat and a poly unsaturated fat so two you can tell a difference between if it's healthy or unhealthy because one of the unhealthier fats usually is more liquidy at room temperature mm -hmm. while a healthier fat yeah. is solid at room temperature. So things like almonds, mm -hmm. nuts, um, seed oils, like flaxseed oil, olive oil. Um, we, I mean, having like the meat from fat is still okay. I mean, it depends like how far you want to take this. Like if you right. want to go to like a tea, but um, like having a little bit of like other fats won't hurt. We just don't want to have lots amounts of saturated fats because then it starts to like hang in the body and yeah. that's fats like that just kind of like stick to us and they just like i know for me personally like i feel like disgusting when i have like eat a whole week of like just shitty food basically yeah so. what is your diet like right now 
So right now I'm keeping it pretty balanced. So yeah. I make sure every meal I'm having carb, veggie, and protein. Okay. Um, I'm trying to aim for like four to five meals per day. Yeah. Um, so I know like my breakfast, like I usually kind of, kind of keep myself in routine, but I'll have like three eggs, half a cup of oatmeal, throw some berries on it, a little bit of peanut butter, and then like some fruit. Then for like lunch, a couple hours later, I'm having either like some type of protein, whether it's chicken, ground turkey, ground beef, anything like that, half a cup of uh, rice, and then one cup of veggies. Nice. And do you think that same percentage that you just said, 40, 40, and 20, it applies to like all range of uh, ages from like, I don't know, like, like, like teenagers to like older people? Or it varies? No, I think a, a balanced diet is recommended for like, in general. that's just in general, like for, for everyone. Cause like, even like for kids that are even growing, they still want to, you still want to make sure like, cause obviously they're growing, you want to make sure they're still eating their proteins, their carbs, their mm -hmm. fats, cause their body needs that type of stuff. Um, the same thing with adults as you get older too, having a clean and healthy diet can actually prevent a mm -hmm. lot of like diseases that right. occur on like later in life, like high blood pressure, high blood pressure leads to heart disease. Heart disease leads to obesity. Yeah. Obesity leads to death. So it's like a domino effect, one after the other. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. 